Hello, it's me, Bishop Wooden, back in my office. Look at this. I got my Bibles open. Uh, the last time I broadcasted from here was on the 6th of April, and I was teaching from the message perception. And, you know, we've been out, and I even came to you one Thursday driving my car, trying to get back to the church so that we could uh, be here for service. And by the way, the Lord blessed us real good that night. But tonight, tonight I want to invite everyone to come. Come and join me as I continue the teaching on perception. If you remember, we came from Nehemiah chapter 6, and we dealt with how as Nehemiah was building the wall, yes, building the wall around Jerusalem, how Samballat, the governor of Samaria and Tobias, by uh, one of his uh, officials, and he was a high-ranking political official, how they tried to stop the work. They, they did not want Nehemiah to succeed because they knew that as Nehemiah fortified the mighty city of Jerusalem, it meant that uh, Jerusalem would be strengthened and protected, and it would be a challenge to their political authority. They tried to fool him. They tried to trick him. They tried to get him to leave the work and meet them. Now, check this out. 25 miles out of town to a place called Ono, northwest of uh, Jerusalem, 25 miles out uh, between Ashdod and Samaria, clearly in enemy territory. And, and if they would have gotten him out there, they probably would have kidnapped him or even worse, they would have killed him. But Nehemiah perceived, I'm talking about perception, he perceived that they thought to do him mischief. So he was not fooled by this big grandiose meeting that they tried to have to get him to leave the work of the Lord. A two days journey, one way, walking 25 miles to get to Ono, and then you have, even if nothing would have happened to him, he would have lost four days in just travel. Well, the work of the Lord was immediate. The work of the Lord had to be done. And Jesus said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. So Satan is trying to do his best to distract us and to pull us away from the work of the Lord that we are doing in the earth. My friends, you are a warrior for Christ. You are a servant. You are busy doing the Lord's work. I want to encourage you tonight to not be deceived nor distracted. Now tonight, I'm going to deal with the second trick that uh, uh, Sam Ballot and Tobiah and the enemies of the Lord tried to pull on Nehemiah. And this trick was a doozy. As a matter of fact, it worked one time before. But how many know that God is able to give us wisdom to outwit, outmaneuver, and, and outthink the devil every time? So we're going to be studying the word of the Lord tonight. And listen, don't let the enemy cause you to stay home. Do not stay home and stream the service if you are healthy and strong. Come to church. Meet me as we study the word of the Lord together. I tell you what, you're going to learn to be more perceptive. You're going to learn to see, check this out, to see the devil coming. <laughs> I want to see him coming so I can recognize him and say, Satan, I know that that is you. I know what you're trying to do, and you're not going to succeed. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, the last part of that verse says, For we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. I'll see you tonight.